And welcome back guys, we're going to be doing some more Dying Light side questing today. Uh, we're going to be doing this top one, and then maybe we'll do some of the side ones, and then we'll continue with this main storyline. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the support button. Thank you guys for supporting the series slash channel so far. Let's get into playing some more Dying Light 2. Ask me. A war is brewing. Excuse me? Not you, the bee. Just calm down. <laughs> Telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. <clears throat> Apparently, the turbine is still in good condition. Even if it's true, so what? I got a feeling we're getting ourselves into trouble. We have no choice. Sometimes I wake up at night thinking of all the time. The only time I spy on something.
What is for? I mean, goats are becoming a status symbol. I'd be afraid to spend all my money on crystals. Why not? They're so... About me, buddy. If you can't eat them, how much are they really worth in times like these? Good dog. 
doctor and a good person. Okay, the antenna's working. Ah, oh, thank God. I knew you'd smarten up. Wait a sec. I was right. The signal is weak, but I can clearly see it's coming from somewhere. Can you go and check this place out? Sure, just a leisurely stroll, really. Second sitting in this shithole. Buckley, you got a shit ton of UV lamps now. <laughs> I work hard for them. Where is that fucker? Jack's getting impatient. Brew him some fucking chamomile. The old one. Dan, yours here. I saw him earlier at the Peacekeeper's HQ. They're talking about the, some kind of transaction. Apparently, William's man is supposed to meet them. Seems that way. And that inn will be here any minute. The lamps went to the middleman. You have to attend that meeting, Aiden. Don't lose them. Listen to what they say. It's damned important. <laughs>
Jeez, I miss my wife. I miss cooking together. You're finally here. <sighs> Fucking hey, dudes. That was fucked. First, one of the guards stops me, asks me where I'm going, so I tell his dumb ass I'm going to see my girl. <laughs> Then he gives me this, like, right that look and says, Hey, haven't you heard that someone's killing our men in the camps? <laughs> our best officers! So then I'm thinking, Oh man, I'm staying put. Then a sec later I hear, Nobody would want to kill you. <laughs> Go wherever you want. Okay. So let's take a look at the lamps. <laughs> Alrighty, my friend. So now talk. When's the transport to the dam heading out? When, when, um... Oh, so like, when I get the signal. When I get the signal. Does Matt pay you for shitty information like that? Told you, command doesn't tell me shit. I'm just a driver. Ah, <sighs> fine. Inform us when you start to move out. Then we'll pack the surprise inside. One. Seems there's gonna be some kind of transport to the Colonel. The PK are gonna plant something in it. Shit. They're gonna send him a bomb or something? Fuck! Huh? Who's there? Uh, hello? Damn, he heard me. Chase him down! Fuck me! He cannot get away, is that clear? Who 
the hell are you? Whoa, peace, brother. Peace and forgiveness. I just drive stuff. The butcher sent you? Colonel Butcher, yeah. <laughs> but I like peacekeepers and bizarre dudes <laughs> and nomads. I like everybody, really. But you too, man. <laughs> I love you. Hey, Juan, I got him. Some joker named Steve. What should I do? <laughs> Steve, I know him. Let Roach would sell his own mother. Don't kill him. We can make a deal with the worm. Hey! Who you call it a worm? Push him. Ask what he's doing for Matt. What is your deal with Matt? You mean you... you're not with the PK? Oh, fuck! Uh, uh, so I'll tell Matt! I'll tell him you were asking questions! You're fucked! <laughs> And I'll tell the Colonel you do deals with the Peacekeepers. Great idea. Um, um, uh, you won't do that, will you? <laughs> oh, I'm fucked either way, aren't I? Finally got something right. Oh, okay, fine. Matt wanted a lift. I mean, was supposed to drive him, his men, to William Stronghold. That's all. Matt promised me asylum. Asylum and crystals. If you throw in some weed, we're even, bro. And nobody's the wiser, you dig? What about I don't give you shit or kill you, and you keep your mouth shut, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, you're all right, man. I knew pilgrims would be cool. Now fuck off. Hey, Juan. Steve told me what he knew. Wait. Not over the radio. Let's meet at the fish eye. When? As soon as you can make it. I'm here waiting for you. You... you want something else? Do you know Matt's deal yet? 
Yeah, pretty much. Although Steve could barely remember his name. Jack's plan is simple. He wants to use the transport to get his men inside the stronghold. Just as I thought. He plans to take the dam before Williams can shut the floodgates and drown the city. Yeah, you mentioned that, but you meant open the floodgates and drown the city, right? I meant what I said. When he shuts the gates, groundwater levels will rise. And with it, all the chemical shit soaked in the ground. We're gonna be like Venice, if Venice was a damp, toxic, plague-infested hell. Anyway, Matt seems ready to take the risk to get into the stronghold and take the dam before the shit hits the fan. All right, so what's your plan? There are people in the Peacekeepers who think logically, and they know that to take the stronghold, Matt's willing to drag us all to the grave. We'll present the evidence about what Matt is doing now, and what he did 11 years ago, when he killed half the city. Hey, what are you trying to say? Matt's not a psychopath. Matt is far worse than a psychopath, Aiden. He's dangerously ambitious. Before the fall, he climbed the ranks of the military hierarchy with lightning speed. Until he ran into Williams. He made sure Matt never got another promotion. Cock blocked him from the chain of command. Until finally, the order came to rain chemicals onto the city. That's when the shit really hit the fan. Wait, what? Matt has something to do with the chemical attack? Matt later claimed he was given no warning by Williams, and that's why there was no evacuation. His own squad was caught in the field. Except some soldiers claimed Matt did get the order to evacuate, but ignored it. Instead, so those soldiers said, Matt stationed his troops where he'd survived the attack. The result was 300 dead soldiers, five times as many civilians. And Matt found himself hailed as the man who stuck with the residents to the very last. What's your plan? I've tracked down one of the renegade officers. One who knows the truth. The truth? He was in Matt's squad that day. He saw Matt receive the order to evacuate. We need to get him to testify during the trial. He's a renegade, Juan. No one on that ship will listen to him. We have to try. The more witnesses and accounts we have, the more likely that people will put two and two together. Unless Jack has us hanged first. Relax. If I play it right and accuse him publicly, he wouldn't dare touch me, and I won't let him touch you. But I need you to meet that renegade. I have to stay put so Matt doesn't get suspicious. Find the guy and bring him in. I'll prepare to trigger a mutiny. Jack likes law and order. Let's give him a highly public trial and have him hang for his crimes. Your booze and brows.
So when we come back, we'll continue doing some more side questions. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys again soon.